Precondition a C18 setpack light cartridge by subsequently rinsing it with ethanol and distilled water. Add the fluoride 18 anion to a solution containing the CIFA peptide. Allow the labeling reaction to proceed for 5 minutes at room temperature. Do not stir the solution. Dilute the solution with 10 times the volume of 0.1 molar phosphate buffer. Load the mixture onto the preconditioned C18 cartridge. Wash the cartridge with distilled water and dilute the trapped fluorine 18 labeled CIFA peptide from the C18 cartridge with ethanol. Dilute with sterile phosphate buffer for injections. Pass the resulting pure fluorine 18 labeled CIFA peptide through a sterile filter. To obtain a clear PET image, the final product's concentration should be between 0.5 to 2 millicuries per milliliter. Inject a small aliquot of the purified fluorine 18 labeled CIFA peptide onto a high performance liquid chromatography system equipped with a reversed phase C18 column to confirm that the radiochemical purity is greater than 95%. Due to their complex nature, CIFA labeling of proteins requires a two-step protocol. A small, highly reactive CIFA prosthetic group, like fluorine 18 labeled SIFB, has to be prepared and then reacted with the given protein. The labeled protein must then be purified by size exclusion high-performance liquid chromatography to obtain the pure protein fraction. Begin by preconditioning a C18 setpack light cartridge with ethanol then distilled water. Add a solution of 0.1 molar oxalic acid in anhydrous acetonitrile to the solution of fluoride 18 anions. Next, add a solution of SIFB in anhydrous acetonitrile to this solution. Keep the reaction mixture at room temperature for 5 minutes. Dilute the mixture with distilled water. Pass through the preconditioned C18 cartridge and wash the C18 cartridge with water. Elute the fluorine 18 labeled SIFB from the cartridge with diethyl ether. Evaporate the diethyl ether under a stream of argon. Use radio thin layer chromatography to confirm that the radiochemical purity is greater than 98%. Redissolve the fluorine 18 labeled SIFB in borate buffer. Add this to a solution of protein. In this example, we used rat serum albumin dissolved in borate buffer. After 30 minutes at room temperature, inject 5 millicuries of the solution onto a high-performance liquid chromatography system equipped with a size exclusion column to purify the fluorine 18 labeled protein. Use the collected protein fraction in animal pet studies to visualize the blood pool. Inject 1 millicurie of the fluorine 18 labeled protein into an anesthetized rat that is positioned in a micropet scanner and acquire dynamic data for 1 hour. Afterwards, reconstruct the pet image using two-dimensional filtered back projection to create a time series of three-dimensional images. Define volumes of interest within each time frame to determine the amount of activity in a specific region over a period of time. When plotted on a graph, these data can be used to derive kinetic and functional parameters. An analysis of the images revealed that fluorine 18 labeled SIFB rat serum albumin is a reliable in vivo blood pool imaging agent. These images were compared to those of an established blood pool pet tracer. Current protein labeling procedures are lengthy and labor-intensive. The CIFA technique, however, 
saves nearly an hour's worth of work, which reduces chemical consumption and radioactivity exposure. CFO labeling chemistry represents one of the first fluorinating labeling methods employing an extraordinary efficient isotopic exchange reaction at room temperature or below. Once mastered, peptide and protein labeling may be done in as little as one hour.